No. Okay, st- <laughs> okay, stop. Can we stop? Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, this is this is. <laughs> this only has a twenty-three percent. This movie is awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. What are you talking about? There's one important date on all of our minds in 2024. One pivotal square on the calendar when, for better or worse, America and her future will be changed forever. That's right. I'm talking about June 7th, the release date of Bad Boys 4, Ride or Die. Here to help us prepare for what is, again, the single most important thing happening in 2024. It's the wonderful James III. Hello, hello. How are you? James, you're one of the hosts of the excellent podcast, Black Man Can't Jump in Hollywood. The excellent podcast. Yes, I am. And at the end of the episode where you review the original 1995 Bad Boys, you personally oh, gave no. the movie two raised black fists. <laughs> yes, we did. And yes. that's good? That is good. Well, so it's interesting because it's it's not so much about good or bad, but, but I guess po- positive in that it uh, promotes uh, black actors in Hollywood. So that's what the fist is about. So two, I guess, out of three black fists oh unless right. unless only two of us reviewed it which i don't remember <laughs> bad boys 2 has a rating of 23 percent of rotten tomatoes does that feel about right to you yes it does 23 percent 23 percent potentially high here's my i don't i have a problem with these kinds of rating systems because they're a little bit like percentage chance of rain does that yeah. mean the percentage of chance it's going to rain everywhere or the percent of change, cha- the amount of place, <laughs> the percentage of the areas it's going to rain at any one time. Like, right. will it rain twenty three percent of the time, or is it going to be raining twenty three percent of the places? Yeah, what is or 20, some combination? Twenty like three percent of this movie, or like, what, what does twenty three percent? Did one hundred percent of the reviewers think it was twenty three percent good, or did twenty three reviewers think it was good and and seventy seven percent found it was one hundred percent terrible? Right. Yeah, I did. I don't, we don't know. know. I do not know. I don't like yeah, these rating no. systems. I don't like the algorithm. I don't like this society we're building. No. In the 17 years between Bad Boys 2 and 2020's Bad Boys for Life, the debate on the depiction of copaganda in media has shifted so much that people were using the word copaganda. <laughs> uh, has that affected the way you watch these movies? Has yes. it changed how you watch them? I think absolutely. I, I as a kid, uh, the, when that f- particularly when that first Bad Boys came out, I, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith could do no wrong they were my heroes. And then between Bad Boys 2 and Bad Boys 3, I was like, oh, that are they the villains of the movie? Like are they are they did, are they doing cuz in the cuz in the first movie there's they or in the first and second movie, they have a bunch of informants that they just beat the shit out of. Like they're like these people that are like giving them information about cr- like letting them know the things that are going wrong in society. And they go up to them and they pull guns on them and they beat just all kinds of, they commit all kinds of crime, I think, <laughs> crimes as cops. Um, so, yeah, like I don't, th- I don't, uh, you know, it makes it hard to watch. In the film Face Off, starring oh, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. Uh, yes. Nicolas Cage as John Travolta. Mm-hmm. He's the Nicolas Cage Wait, no. John Travolta as Nicolas Cage. Sure. Sorry. John Travolta wearing Nicolas Cage's face has to escape from a maximum security prison. That's right. And he shoots his way out of that prison. He's a he's a law enforcement official shooting his way out of a prison. But all those prison guards are just at work. Just people they don't, going to do, they don't do know they, they don't know they've got the face off technology. They're just like, hey, one of the worst terrorists in the country is trying to escape. Let's stop him. And then this this federal law enforcement yes. figure dressed up as a bad guy, just kills everyone he it can is, to escape. <laughs> it's it is wild. so infuriating in these movies when story is supposed to matter more than like real people's lives. Like, well, but he has to get out of that prison, doesn't he? It's like, well, sure. But, but that every single person we saw needs to go home to their families or just, or just their lot or just their empty apartments. Like they need to go home after this. Yeah. And a lot of them didn't. No. Because they got killed. <laughs> like in one of the Mission Impossible movies, uh, Tom Cruise's plan is to basically, like his involvement in the plan means a nuclear weapon <laughs> basically almost destroys, I think, Moscow? Yeah. The Kremlin. And mm-hmm. it's like, phew, we did it again. Okay, cool. <laughs> it worked out, but a little close for comfort. If right. you hadn't been involved at all, this risk probably would have been lessened. I think it's actually within... Second, seconds. Seconds, right? That's seconds. the one where he goes, mission, Im- mission accomplished. You know when he like hits the thing. 
It's a good, it's a good movie. I like that movie. <laughs> Did you know that the producers of Bad Boys 2 had to go to then Florida Governor Jeb Bush to get an emergency stay of Florida's manatee protection laws so that they could film high-speed boat chases in the Miami River? I did not know that. <laughs> no. I think that's cool. Do you know? Do you know that over 375 manatees were killed during the making of Bad you Boys? You cannot too? tell me this. You can't. You can't tell me any number of manatee. Any number of manatee was killed. Let alone what was the number? 375. No way. <laughs> I can't. Accept, I won't accept it. Well, you shouldn't. I made it up okay, just good. this moment. <laughs> Are the bad boys still bad boys if they both start taking therapy seriously? Uh, so I would say yes. I would say they're maybe even the baddest boys. It, also considering how the movies, movies are sort of rendered, it's like therapy is bad. Like to do therapy is bad, and we don't do that because we're bad boys. So then in turn, it's like to, as bad boys to do therapy – they're perhaps the baddest of boys, you know. Right, right, right. Like we're like, oh, I'm, I'm bad enough going for to my therapy. Hour. Exactly, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm perhaps listening to the things that I'm being told, and I'm perhaps exercising some of the things that have come up in that. Like I'm, I'm more bad than anyone. Right. Sometimes, right. It takes the, it takes a lot of badness to realize you need help. <laughs> I think. The most, yeah, exactly. The down, the more down you are, you have to hit rock bottom before you know anything is is wrong at all. Now it's time for a classic love it or leave it game called Okay Stop. (laughs) Here's how it works: We're gonna get ourselves back in the bad boy state of mind by watching a few choice clips from Bad Boys Two, directed by America's sweetheart Michael Bay. When any of us, when either of us want to pause and comment on it, we'll say Okay Stop. I want to point out that one of the reasons we're doing this is is uh, uh, we were talking about this and uh, Kendra asked me like have you seen Bad Boys 2 and I said of course I have when did you see it the last time I saw it was when it came out okay I have not seen a frame of this since it was in the theaters I'm very interested in your reaction so I don't I <laughs> um, and and there we are in in the film we look great My we look goodness. great look at us look at us all right let's see the clip hey why don't you tell me there's a rally tonight who's looking that shit, I'm out of here. Shit. White power! White power! White power! White power! White power! <laughs> okay, st- okay, stop. Can we stop? Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, this is this is. <laughs> this only has a 23 percent. This movie is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have to say, no, look, I have to say, the first Bad Boys, at least my understanding of it, I don't know what happened to the script once these men were cast, but my understanding of the first Bad Boys movie is that it was like written and they were like, you know what, Dana Carvey's going to be great in this and another, and John Lovitz is going to be great in this. These, these, these white actors are going to be great in this. And then, they were, and then somehow it got to Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. And the movie is fantastic. Ju- in, 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 not about the fact that they are black. Bad Boys 2 essentially opens with, you know what? A Ku Klux Klan rally. <laughs> black cops? Well, we got to show them at a Ku Klux Klan <laughs> it's, it's, that's infu- That is an infuriating reality. It is fun to see. The, the, Come on. Look at this shot. Look at where we fall. Awesome. <laughs> It's classic. That's fun. That is fun as hell. But I don't need to ever see that. I think. <laughs> I think. But it's like I think what I appreciate about this is that like Michael Michael Bay brings the same nuance and <laughs> understanding to race in America as he does to there's an asteroid headed towards the Earth. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, they're black cops. They're gonna be in a clan in a clan <laughs> suit and they're gonna reveal themselves. Yes. And that's the they're the ultimate undercover cops. Yes, yes. Because they're black. They're not yeah, exactly. They shouldn't be there. There's nothing about them that should be there. Right. Like <laughs> it wouldn't it would wouldn't be interesting if they were white <laughs> cops. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't even know if police would actually be on their <laughs> written on their vest. They put it there just to make sure you know. Not only are they black, they are cops. Blue power, motherfuckers. Miami PD. Oh damn. It's the Negros. Casper, drop the bag. Alpha leader, bring them in. Bad boys, bad, bad boys. boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? Oh, no. what, what you gonna, gonna do when we come for you? The next step is the next to snakes, no snakes. Hey. hey. Dude, you gotta learn the words. We usually only do the chorus. I love this, I have to say. 
I mean, the thing is, it's like they're so charming. They're 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 holding this whole thing up on their shoulders. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, and and also like you know, I I can imagine that this sort of also comes from a situation of like, if we're gonna do it again, if we're gonna come back, if we're gonna suit up, we gotta go as hard as possible, right? And so that's why we're here. I also just like, this is a moment where Martin Lawrence was one of the biggest stars Who? in the country. Absolutely. He was fucking huge. Absolutely. Who the fuck are you? I'm Mr. Burnett, I'm Reggie. What you doing here? I came to take out Megan. What? I came to take out Megan. How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Burnett. Motherfucker, you look 30. <laughs> Show me some ID. I don't have none on me. You don't have no idea. Get your ass up against that wall. What the fuck is your problem? You think you know it all. You little young thundercat. You got joints on you? No. You smoke that shit? No, sir. You trying to get my daughter high? You smoke Mark. that shit? Nigga, who that is? It's Reggie. Right. Who the fuck is Reggie? Okay, so I just, is Will Smith playing this drunk? Okay, yes. Yeah, so he's... <laughs> What? So yes, if I rem- if I remember correctly, because I I have seen this since it came out, is that they knew that Reggie was coming over, and he has now become a character. This is not how he was acting moments ago. <laughs> He's now become a character in order to scare the the. Boys. Oh, and this is to me okay. So I feel like this is Michael Bay. So we did. Michael Bay was like, wow. Two black cops infiltrating the Ku Klux Klan. That's yes. the coolest idea I've ever heard. Uh, absolutely. Sure. Now we're in a different we're in a different kind of Michael Bay thing, which is imagine if your dad was a cop. I bet he would use all of his cool cop skills to scare boys yeah. in a gendered way around <laughs> what women yeah, need, no, to, need to be protected from. Ab- absolutely, absolutely, and and I think if I remember correctly, speaking of in a gendered way, if I remember correctly, they play with that even in a <laughs> where the yeah. You know, if the nigga can fight, somebody okay. might come say something. The nigga can't fight, she can't go. This is Megan's godfather, okay? He just got off the joint. Why are you okay? putting all my they business in the street? Why are you putting they call all? Him? I okay, wait, wait a minute. Actually, jail. okay, okay. <gasps> Pause here. First of all, why is the gun out? <laughs> Why is the gun, gun out? <laughs> movie is awesome. You don't need to pull your gun on a, just a kid. This is a kid. This is a I, what is he? He's fifteen. 15. He's 15. He's fifteen years old. He's 15 just tall. Old. Pulled out the gun. Uh, the reason I, I didn't even realize the gun was coming out. The reason I paused here is actually a thing that has bothered me about this movie. This is just my time to say this. None of you care. But the thing that, that bothers me about this about this part of this movie is they are clearly improvising. Martin is saying they, this man. They got him from out the pen. They call him. They, they call him. We never hear what they call him. <laughs> we never hear the joke that Martin had. <laughs> it never comes. We never hear. They, he goes. They call him. They 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 call him. <laughs> and, and it never is revealed. <laughs> What the nickname was that was on the tip of Martin's tongue, and it has this has infuriated me since <laughs> since 2002. 2000. So, so they're so they're loosely following something, some kind something of something like a script. Yeah, and he's doing a bit about Will Smith's nickname, yes. and Will Smith interrupts with his own bit, <laughs> yes. and be, they never went back and got we anything never usable. Hear who he is. We never hear his his, his prison nickname, and the, and it's and that's it. And that's and that's <laughs> and that's not even the part that I was <laughs> talking about before. But I, I, I've just never been able to scream about how much this has <laughs> that is um, bothered me for decades. No, I can no. It really. I, I I'm glad you. I'm glad you told us. It, it <laughs> it's because it like it opens a loop that it never closes. And yeah. like that happens in real life. Like somebody will like st- like they, that's why it's sad. That's why when there's always somebody that's very good at this in a dinner that's like. Well, they'll be they'll be back and forth, back and forth, and someone will be like, uh, Jennifer, you were you were in the yes. middle of something, and it feels so good for Jennifer. Yes. Jennifer, fuck it, like I was. Thank you. Yeah, my mother is a bitch, and like whatever. <laughs> and, but yes, whatever God it is, God bless whoever it was that it, that remembered that Jennifer. And then was everybody talking. gets the relief of that closed loop. Absolutely. But this is just an open loop. Nope, it, we never know. And we and in Bad Boys Three, I'll tell you, they don't talk about it. We don't they know don't what talk it about. Is. Oh no. Okay, let's watch one more. 
Just gonna set this up. They're at Guantanamo Bay. Okay, <laughs> just setting this up. They're at Guantanamo fucking Bay. Because that's where they had to go. Okay. I'm gonna toss it right at your feet. Right next to the mine. It's a yeah, minefield. Right next to the mine? <laughs> it's a mine. They're in a minefield. Oh, a mine! <laughs> Someone just got shot in the head. Oh boy. <laughs> Why is this midriff exposed? You must be because of what happens next. <laughs> oh! Uh, so I'll also just say that this this part ends on Will going, now that's how you're supposed to shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. Okay, and this <laughs> is, a, is a callback to two things. The end of the first movie. Oh, that's how you're supposed to drive from now on. That's how you drive for those of you that don't remember. <laughs> and, and how dare you. It's, uh, yeah, honestly. But it, it is also a callback to earlier in the movie, a f another frustrating thing about these – sort of underlines how these guys are villain cops, which is earlier in the movie, Martin Lawrence is, is in the passenger seat of like a car chase and, and Will is driving. And Martin is, instead of shooting, he's like, is pulling out his badge on people trying to get them to, to stop. And he's like, that guy has a gun. You're supposed to shoot him. And then he, and then later Will shoots a guy and says, now show him your badge. Like shoot, <laughs> kill. Kill, then show your badge, okay? This is, these guys were my heroes. <laughs> they were my heroes, and, 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 I, and now it's like, oh my God, have you been, are you Lex Luthor? Like, what have you? It's, um, I, I sometimes, you know, when people, you know, the long arc of history is bends toward justice, like, okay, sometimes. But the, 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 I always think that, like, oh, things get better. Could you make Serpico now? I don't think so. No, probably I don't no. think you make Serpico now. Why? <laughs> why is Serpico better about like, you know, like the 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 dangers of of unaccountable police? And then we just never you can't you can't make a Serpico again. No. I mean, it is boring, Serpico. <laughs> this is way more fun. <laughs> but, Nobody blows up by landing on a landmine at Guantanamo Bay and Serpico. They just have a hearing at the end. <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert for Serpico. The end of the movie is a hearing. <laughs> but it is, but <laughs> fucking Serpico. I hope they never make Serpico again. Serpico sucks. But high, <laughs> what a downer. All the cops are corrupt. Hi, but I don't need to see that. I need to see them dirty, but in a positive way for their daughters. <laughs> Bad boys for life. I'm excited about that. I'm. I hope. I'm excited to see them back. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm in. I'm, I'm in. gonna see it. I'm. I'm a thousand percent gonna see it. I'm. I'm nervous about it. Um, just, I'm nervous about the new Bad Boys for two reasons. One is they announced that they were going to do three and four back to back, but then when three came out, they called that one Bad Boys for Life, and I was like, oh, this, I'm already, <laughs> they are not excited about whatever the fourth one could be. If you're going to name your third one Bad Boys for Life, you know what I'm saying? that sounds saying? like the end. That's the one you could, you could, you could also, name, but you could bad also do the thing for, with for life. life like for the, for the, two Bad boys, two bad boys, four life. Exactly, <laughs> right. <laughs> two bad, too bad boys, two life. Four life. Too yeah. bad, two, two life. Too two bad, bad boys four plus life. two lives equals four. Fourth movie title. <laughs> and this is this is what you get on James's podcast. This is yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly this kind of uh, deep dive on films is what you get on wow. our podcast. James, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah.